Are you looking to migrate Outlook mailboxes? I have an incredible tool for you. Stick around. Let's go. Here I am in the website of Stellar and this is the tool that I am going to talk about. So as you can see here, this is a tool tested and trusted by many MVPs and IT admins and they cover even the scenario when you have to migrate from Microsoft Exchange Server to Microsoft 365. So when you want to install this tool, all you need to do is just click on the button free download, you are going to get an Excel file and the installation, it takes just a few seconds and after that you are going to have this tool available on your PC. Let me now open this tool. So the first pop-up that you are going to see is this one. You are able to get automatically and to search for the profile that are installed on your PC. So you, then you can target your mailbox that you want and then you can generate your destination file. So all I am going to do now is to select manually the file that I have on my desktop which is an OST file that I already have I'm going to click to open and then convert this takes just a few seconds in my case because this file it's not so big and it's of course this is uh, can can be different if you have a very big and huge file but you can just keep the tool running and after after a while you are going to have a preview of all elements that are available in the database of the file. Now as you can see I have a preview of the OST file, I can see all Outlook data file available here, I can see the calendar, contacts, deleted items even, then inbox, junk, sent items, tasks, so all email are here, I can see the preview of every mail, I can see that it looks good, all good now, and then I can start to migrate the oil and convert the OST file to PST. If the preview looks good to you, you can then move to the next step, which is save converted file. Then you have to decide the extension of the file that you want to target, which is in my case PST. Let's click on next. Then you have the, even the ability to target this checkbox which is the auto split PST file if you want or you can even recover deleted files this is pretty pretty nice if you click on advanced you can then target and exclude the junk email folder the deleted items you have additional options like uh, the data range which is also good and then you can even create a list of user that you want to exclude uh, from your uh, mailbox now let's say that it's fine, this, uh, this one, this selection, the destination path, it looks good also to me, I'm going to drop it in my desktop and this as always considering the size of this file, it's going to take some seconds. All right, the process is completed, this is the size of the file converted and it's available on my desktop. Now something very important to know is that Microsoft is in the phase of migrating Outlook from classic to the new Outlook. Now to import a PST file you have to work with Outlook Classic. So let me open now Windows and then I'm going to type here Outlook, I'm going to target classic and not the new one because in the new Outlook this is not yet supported but there are good news because here in the Microsoft 365 roadmap we can see that Microsoft is working on this topic export mailbox to PST in the new Outlook for Windows and import emails from PST file to mailbox in the new Outlook for Windows. This is going to be available also for Mac, but this is really a good news. Now, all I need to do is click on open and export and then import on export. Here in the classic Outlook, then I can target import from another program or file. Let's hit the button next. I'm going to select PSD because this is the file that I have available on my desktop. Let me go now on my desktop and I'm going to target this file here. So replace duplicates with items imported and it's fine. Next, here I have this 
uh, folder that will be imported. This is my email, then I can click on finish. And this is the final result I have in the inbox, all email migrated, as you can see. And this is pretty nice. My opinion about this tool that it does a pretty good job and it's fast in scanning files and accurate. So if you are wondering how to give it a try, check in the description, you will find a link. I hope to see you next time.